Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on React. Today we are going to explore state management in React.js. In this video you are going to learn how to manage state in your React component using two powerful tools. Use state for function components and set state with this dot state for class components. By the end of this video, you will have clear understanding how to use states in your React components. I also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript A Comprehensive Guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So, whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So, why wait? Grab your copy today from the link in the video description and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more javascript content first we will explore use state hook so what is this use state hook well it is a feature in react that was introduced to make it easy for function components to manage their own state. The use state hook was introduced in React version 16.8. Before that, function components couldn't hold their own state, which made them less flexible. But thanks to this hook, you can now manage state just like class components. To understand this, let's create a simple counter component. So in the editor, in the app.jsx in the previous video we have created these components so first let's remove all of these delete this and also let's remove this and in the components directory let's delete these components also now let's create a counter component so in the components directory let's create counter.jsx and now here we will create export default function counter and this function going to return jsx so let's say it has a div and in this div we have a paragraph tag that prints count and let's say zero and then let's add a button and button text is plus one now we have very basic counter component next in the app.jsx here let's import this import counter from components counter and then we are going to add this counter component tag right here now in the browser here we have count zero and the button plus one now on click this plus one button we need to increment this count so for that in the counter component here we need to create a state so first let's import from react use state next in this counter function here i'll say const in the square bracket we have count and set count is equal to use state and its initial value is zero don't worry about these errors because it is complaining that these variables are declared but never used but here we are getting error for this use state also that is because the react component name must start with an uppercase letter so here it should be start with capital c like this in case if you are not aware of this syntax it is a destructuring assignment expression in javascript it is not a react thing it is a javascript syntax 
the structuring assignment allow you to extract values from object or array and assign them to variables in more concise and convenient way. Let me show you an example of it. So in the browser, let's open the inspect tool and in the console tab, let's say here we have a variable const colors is equal to in array we have colors let's say red and blue and then we want to extract these values in variables so we can say const first color and second color is equal to colors press enter and now in the first color variable oops now in the first color variable we can see it has value red similarly in the second color variable we have value blue i hope you understand what is destructuring assignment in javascript now let's go back to our main topic of the video on state management now here we have two variable count and set count so to display the count in the jsx here we will print in the curly bracket count now to update the value of count we will use the set count function so first here let's create a function increment and in this function i will call this set count to update its value so here i'll say set count function and then we will pass count plus one now we want to call this function on click this button so here we will say on click is equal to in curly braces pass increment function like this now on click this button it will execute this increment function and inside this increment function it will increment the count by one let's see this in the browser now on click this plus one button you can see count value is incremented and react has re-rendered the component with the updated value and one more key thing that you should remember when you are updating state value let's say here we have a one more button and on click this button we want to increment the count by five so on click this button we will call another function increment five now let's create this function function increment 5 and and in this function we will call this increment five times like this one two three four five so now what should happen on click this button it should execute this increment 5 function and this function executes increment functions five times so it should increment the count by 5 let's see in the browser if it works so refresh now the count is 0 if i click this 5 you can see it did not work every time we click this it is incrementing it by 1 that we do not want so it did not work so to fix this here we need to update the value using callback function so here we will pass a arrow function and it is going to accept previous value then we will increment the previous value by one previous value plus one now go back to browser refresh now this time if i click this plus five now it is working it has incremented it by five and on click this plus one it is incrementing by one so when you are state value depends on the previous value use callback function otherwise you can simply use count plus one like this but in this case the value depends on the previous value so here we should use the callback function let's see one more example of state so let's create another component let's say our another component is item list dot jsx now export default function item list 
and that returns uh, JSX and in the S2 tag item list next in the UL and in the li tag we have list items and then we have a button add item now our basic item list component is ready so let's display this in the app component so import item list from components item list and let's add the item list tag right here let's see this in the browser if it is working fine and here we have component for now let's comment this counter and comment this import also here we have item list component so now what we want on click this button we want to add new item in this list so in the item list component let's declare a state variable so for that first we need to import the use state from the react so import from react use state and now in the item list component function here i will add variable const let's say our state variable name is item list and then set item list is equal to use state and the initial value of this item list is empty array now we have state variable item list and initial value is empty array and we can update its value using set item list function on click this button we want to add new item in this item list state so for that we want on click we will call function add item so let's create this function function add item and in this function we are going to call this set item list to update its value so set item list and here we will pass array first we need previous values so using spread operator we will use previous values and then we will add new item for now let's add plain text new item generally we want to add this new item from the input field that we will see in the next video when we will cover two-way data binding in react for now let's use this hard-coded new item so in the browser refresh so on click this add item it should add the new item value but it, it is not rendered here actually we forgot to use this item list in the jsx to print this value here we will use javascript array dot map method so in the curly brackets let's use this item list dot map and this map method going to accept callback function so let's use the arrow function and this arrow function going to accept item and then index so here it is going to return li tag and in this li tag we will print item and next this li need a key binding so key is equal to index in case if you do not know about this dot map array helper method i have already created a video on this i will put the link of it in the video description you should also check out this now in the browser refresh and on click this add item it adds new item list this is how we handle the states in the function component now let's explore how we can implement this same logic in the class component although function components are widely used after the introduction of hooks it is still important to learn state management in class components also so let's see this first let's create a class component so let's say our component name is item list class comp dot jsx and then first import component from react and class 
item list class comp extends component and next export this class export default item list class component now this class needs renderer so renderer and return jsx so div in h2 tag item list in class component and now in the ul tag and li item next uh, we have button add item now our class component is ready let's import this in the app component so import from components item list class component and then add this component right here now let's go to browser here we have item list from the class component now in the item list class component so in to manage state in the class component we need to declare state by defining a state object inside the components constructor here we will create a constructor constructor and and make sure to call super in the constructor and now in this constructor we will use state by defining a state object so here we will add this dot state is equal to object and in this object we have item list and initial value is empty array this object holds the data you want to track in our case we want to track item list and its in initial value is empty array and now we can access this value using this state now to print the list item right here we can use same dot map method used in the function component this one so let's copy this and paste it here but to access the item list we need to use this state so this state dot item list dot map like this next we want to add new item on click this button so here we will add on click in the curly bracket this dot add item now we need to create this method add item now to update this value here we will use this dot set state function it is going to accept callback function and it is going to accept previous state and then we are going to return in the curly brackets we want to update this item list so item list is equal to array and then using spread operator we will say previous state dot item list and then add the our new item as i already mentioned we want this new item from the user input field that we will see in the next video when we will cover two-way data binding for now let's use it hard-coded text and it is done let's go to the browser refresh on click this add item button it should add new item but it did not work let's open the inspect tool and in the console tab we have error cannot find property undefined set state error is right here it cannot find set state this error is because of this keyword binding so if i comment this and console log this and now in the browser on click add item it is undefined instead it should console log the reference of this class so to fix this here we can use arrow function like this now it should console log reference to this class let's see refresh add item and here you can see the reference for item list class component so it is working so let's remove this console log and uncomment this code refresh 
and now on click this add item the item list is added similarly for the function component this is how we handle state in react the state is a fundamental concept in react components that allows you to manage and update data it is a crucial part of building dynamic and interactive web application this is all in this video if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching happy coding mm -hmm.